Saturday morning in Vegas and I'm super happy Augie arrived. Augie's one of my best friends and we don't get to see each other that often. Um, he lives in Dallas, Texas. I don't have a business there but I try to go by whenever I can and connect through his city. Vice versa, he tries to fly wherever I am whenever he sees an opportunity. So he just landed in Vegas to come and relax a bit but also to see me. So I headed over to Planet Hollywood to meet him. One thing that's fascinating about Vegas is that many places just look the exact same way, whether it's like 3 a.m. or 9 a.m. There's no daylight. People playing 24-7 in here. Sometimes a bit sad, but for the most part it looks really fun. Headed over to Planet Hollywood now, which is one of the places that I usually stay at or used to stay at when I was here more frequently. It's also in a very good location, usually off very good value for money. So we are in front of the famous Bellagio Fountains and Augie and I have been coming to Vegas quite a few times in the past. In fact, it was you who kind of placed the travel bug inside me. How do you choose hotels? You How know, do you choose where to sleep? It's rest? kind of hard for me because a lot of my travel is standby, but usually I look ahead of time. I, I go on to some of the, the larger consolidator websites like uh, um, Hotels.com and Orbitz, um, Travelocity, and I'll look to see what the hotel rates are. So that way I get an idea if I'm going someplace and everything is three, four, five hundred dollars, maybe I don't want to spend that weekend there because it's too too expensive. But if everything is, you know, 75, 100 bucks for a night, that's a good idea. So I know I'll, I'll be safe when I get there. So one thing is price, which um, all these websites make pretty easy, right? You can mm -hmm. filter by it. But especially for places like New Zealand that you haven't been to, how do you choose location? That one's kind of tough. Um, you try to figure out exactly where you're going to be, which tour sites or which uh, cities you're going to be around. Um, um, and then I kind of go to a couple of different places, different websites that will have uh, a geographic setting. So you can type in an address and then it'll pull up a radius around that, that specific address and you'll be able to kind of take a look at, at the hotels. Or um, you go on to sites like TripAdvisor or whatnot, you can leave a quick note and people will start responding back right oh. away with uh, suggestions for that location. I would just say, hey, uh, I am making uh, my first trip to Taupo, New Zealand. I've never been there before. Any recommendations on nice hotels that are not too expensive? They'll start throwing out suggestions and then you can oh. find the local website, you know, in New Zealand and find out what the rate is and, and sometimes even calling them directly, um, you can get a great rate. Oh, that's so, great. That's yeah. a great idea. It's always great to meet Doggy. He's someone who has had a huge influence, positive impact on my life. I'm really grateful and thankful for his friendship, all the adventures we got to go through. Definitely someone who, for me, took a lot of the mystery out of travel and allowed me to live the lifestyle that I'm living today, but also just always an inspiration when it comes to how to treat others and how to be respectful and how to phrase emotions. He's just really good with putting emotions into words. I'm on my way back into the Cosmopolitan where we're staying and I'm gonna check out what kind of trouble the guys are getting themselves into. And uh, so it's time again to turn the camera off. In case I don't speak to you later today, I'll talk to you tomorrow.